Hey everybody, it's Mickey. Today is Saturday, July 21st, and I have our July Costco haul, an Erin Condren unboxing, and a great dinner recipe to share. So as you can see, we finally hung my mirror here on the stairs for my outfits of the day. I must be crazy, but I am heading to Target and Costco on the Saturday. Today my outfit is mostly from Target. My shoes, jeans, and ruffled bottom shirt are from Target, and my cardigan is from Ann Taylor. So here is my Costco haul for the month of July. Over here I have Honey Bunches of Oats, which is my favorite cereal, some organic raisins, some Greek yogurt, we have a whole case of that. Uh, this was a purely impulse buy, this hand soap. I really like the bottles. I have some of these at home already and I just like the way they look. We have some red delicious apples, some blueberries, some pecans, and almonds. Um, I'm gonna try these Alaskan salmon burgers. My son uses these all the time and he says that they are really great. And I have some chicken breasts, some of the rotisserie chicken that I always buy when I see it at Costco, a new bottle of vanilla, some of vino lotion, two packs of that. I have Neutrogena makeup removing wipes, some parsley, some fish oil, some downy unstoppables. Back here I have Cascade, and I have some Bounty paper towels and some toilet paper. So that is my Costco haul for July. So here is my Costco haul for the month of July. We'll start over here with this Honey Bunches of Oats. I never see the original flavor at Costco, so I was really happy to see it there today. It's my favorite cereal. I have some organic raisins. I have a case of Greek yogurt. This was my impulse buy for the day. These are three hand soaps. I have bottles like this that are a similar brand, and I really just like the way that they look on the sink, so I picked these up. I think they were under $10. I have some Red Delicious apples. I have some blueberries, some pecans, some almonds. This is a new thing that we're going to try. My son Danny buys these all the time and he says that they are really good, so we are gonna try these on our grill. I have some chicken breast. I have a package of that rotisserie chicken that I like to buy so often at Costco. Over here I have my Downy Unstoppables. I have some fish oil, some parsley, I bought a new bottle of vanilla. We have two packages here of Aveeno Lotion. I have two packages of Neutrogena Makeup Removing Wipes. I have two Cascades Dishwashing Detergent. And back there, I have a case of Bounty Paper Towels and a case of toilet paper. So that is my Costco haul for July. So I was pretty excited when I got back from Target. I had some Happy Mail on my porch that I have been waiting for. I want to show you what I got. It all has to do with planning. Uh, over the last year or so, I've been using a few different things to do my weekly and my monthly planning, and I have decided to go back to my roots <laughs> and start again with Erin Condren. So I wanted to show you what I got. I have my box right here. It has been a while since I got something from Erin Condren, so I was so excited to see it on my porch. I always love their boxes. I think they're just beautiful. Okay, so I went and I got my tripod because my hands were a little shaky today. Maybe I got myself too excited about my new planner, but oh my goodness, it is just so worth it. Look at her. I think she's just beautiful. So this is my life planner, and I chose the uh, metallic painted petals and the rose gold and the gray, which I think looks just beautiful. And I went ahead and I got the 18 month life planner. I mean, you know, later on in the year I could decide to use something different, but I just wanted the option to have everything all together. So on the inside, of course, they give you a bunch of goodies. The little uh, plan for it pouch, which I just love. I always keep, you know, stickers and things in this and with the rest of my planner supplies. And I got the colorful version, 
and I got the hourly. Now I have used the vertical, the horizontal, so many different types of planners and I guess I just decided that really what a planner is for me is a list of to-dos and I think that this setup is going to work out really well for me. I'm going to use this, I'm going to try to use this for everything, for school, for home and for you know YouTube and my blog, trying to keep everything in one spot. So I am so excited to get started with this. I just think it's so beautiful. And I would really love to do some planner videos. So if that is something you guys would really be interested in seeing, please leave me a comment in the information bar below because it is something that I have wanted to do for a while. I have been collecting some stickers from some great Etsy shops that I would love to share with all of you guys. So let me know if that is something that you guys would love to see because I would love to do some for you. So the other thing that I got was the large notebook. I'm a very notebook oriented person and I go through notebooks like crazy and I thought this was really nice because it matched my planner and I can kind of keep it all together. So the other thing that I got, let me open this up. This is something new, at least it's new to me. So this is the planner folio which is like a little portfolio for your planner and I like this so much because it gives you some space to put some extra things you know like some of your pens some notes that perhaps that you need to take with you and I actually saw online that supposedly I would be able to put my notebook and my planner on the inside and zip it all up. So let's see if that is so. Let's move the box out of the way. Oh, it's a piece of cake, look at that. Oh, I love it. I think that is so great. So this is gonna be so easy for me to carry with me wherever I go. Um, it'll keep all of my planner stuff together, and I am just so super excited about my new Erin Condren and stuff. So, like I said, leave me a comment down below if you guys want to see some planner videos. So I thought I would show you my project for the day. This is my daughter Rebecca's room, and she has a summer class up at school, and she's going to be coming home tomorrow. So I thought it would be a great chance to empty her room and paint it and freshen it up a little bit. She has moved into this room after one of her brothers left for school and we never had the chance to really paint it and make it all nice and fresh for her. So this is the color that we chose. It is a silver blue color from Bear and I have some new bedding for her and some new curtains. So I will share it all with you when it's all put back together. So here is a little bit of an update. It's almost time to start making dinner. So um, my husband moved all the furniture back in and we're starting to move some of Rebecca's things back in here. We still have to uh, move all her books in and get some of the things settled for her desk. But um, this is the bedding that I was telling you about. I found um, this quilt and shams at Home Goods, which is really pretty. You really can't tell, but there's a like a silver iridescent thread that goes through this. It's really, really pretty. And these were the rugs that she had in here before. These are from Target. And let me see if you can see the curtains. Um, the curtain rod is also from Target, and these were so pretty. It has like a very pale. Um, light gray design on them and they're very light filtering so I have on order some curtain holdbacks from Amazon so I have to wait until they come in but that's how I think I'm going to style the curtains once they're all done so this is where we are at right now and like I said it's time to go start making dinner but I think we have a really good start to getting everything back in order.
So for dinner tonight, I'm going to be making um, chicken alfredo casserole. And this is a really simple recipe with just a few ingredients. And it's one of like the 3,500 recipes that I make with the packaged rotisserie chicken from Costco. So what you're going to need for this recipe is about three cups of dry pasta, about a pound and a half of cooked chopped chicken, you're going to need about two, three cups of broccoli, some Italian blend shredded cheese along with either Parmesan or Romano cheese. You're going to need a bottle of any kind of Alfredo sauce, a mixture of seasonings, of course, salt and pepper, a little um, Italian seasoning, some Mrs. Dash, some garlic powder, and some minced onion. And on top of everything, we're going to crush some Ritz crackers. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to cook the broccoli and the pasta and I'll get chopping on the chicken. all of your chicken chopped up and it's in a really large bowl. You're going to add your cooked broccoli and your cooked pasta. So once you have this all combined, you're going to add your Alfredo sauce. Now you can also use additional sauce in this recipe. It just really depends on taste. We usually use one whole bottle and maybe a half of another one. All right, so once it looks like this, you're going to add a little bit of the minced onion, some garlic powder, some Mrs. Dash. I put this in almost everything. <laughs> And you're going to add um, some Italian seasonings. Now it could be basil, oregano, um, rosemary, whatever are your favorites. I just happen to have this penzu spice that has just a mixture of Italian seasonings already in, in it. And then I'm going to add about a cup of shredded Italian cheeses. A casserole dish a good spraying of you know Pam or other cooking spray just so it doesn't stick and then you're going to transfer your mixture into your casserole dish so now that you have it in your casserole dish sprinkle a little of the extra Italian cheese right on top cover it all up there we go. And then what I like to do is I like to take some Ritz crackers and I just go ahead and crush them on top and sprinkle it all around. And then I sprinkle a little Romano cheese on top. You can use Parmesan or whatever you like. And then the last thing I do is I like to add a little bit of dry minced parsley just to give it a little color. So I'm going to cover this with some aluminum foil and I'm going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for about 35 minutes. So this is what Alfredo chicken casserole looks like when it comes out of the oven. It is just smelling so good and it's bubbly and cheesy and just full of goodness. So I hope you will give this recipe a try. I will put all the details in the information bar below. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you'll take a minute and subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have and I will see you again soon. Bye.